Hey, it's Rosemary here. Okay, let me tell you about my day yesterday, okay? I was feeling very stuck, very unsure. My writing muscle felt broken, and yeah, I relate my money-making to my writing, okay? I couldn't seem to reach flow. I couldn't stay there. I kept starting and stopping posts. I couldn't just seem to just make the whole thing, you know? I didn't know what I wanted to talk about, and so then, really, I put together a post talking about the fact that I didn't know what to talk about, and I just hoped, ultimately, that that would be enough for that day to not really have that much to say. And the other side of it is that I knew that um, once I get that first initial post out of the way, then everything generally tends to get a little bit easier. So I had to be okay with the fact that I felt stuck and unsure and that I still had to show up as myself. And you know what? I always show up as myself. Who else could I be or how else can I be? Okay. And I tried the whole, you know, fake guru thing where everything is perfect all the time, you know, and it just kept me disconnected from my community. And so now, you know what? I'm just me. And you know what? The more just me I am, (laughs) the more fun I have, the more money I make, the less time is wasted in overthinking, second guessing and all that stuff. And the more work I get done because I am me showing up and telling you what I feel. Okay. Whatever I feel. And in the middle of that, my people will probably see themselves and see that if I can do all of that, all that I do, then so can they, because I'm just a regular person. And even as I, you know, as I read that out to you, um, I just remember again, why I started blogging, which was, you know, my, my, my mom in business website, which no longer exists, but I started it when I started my property or real estate, depending on what country you are. I started my property business. I decided from the outset that it would be a success. And so I decided I would share my journey with other mothers and anyone else who wanted to listen. And I'd inspire them with my wins and my failures and my journey. Because again, if I could do it, then so could they. They. (laughs) And I also wanted a way to keep myself accountable. My pride would never have allowed me to quit because I had announced that I was on my way, man. I still remember the fears I went through. I probably never wrote about them all that clearly because, well, I thought I had to be a winner all the time. But actually, the more you win, the more you realize that people just want to know what it's like to go from not winning to winning. They want to know that it's possible because sometimes the dark times in business are pretty darn dark. And there's a tendency to think that you're alone in feeling the darkness and you're not, okay? Any successful person and will tell you about the dark times. I suddenly try to tell you to keep moving forward, to keep showing up and being the warrior champion you are despite the dark times. Yes, success can look glossy when you're there or when you're looking from what can only be called the despair of being at the beginning when you already want to have won. And you can stare at people in their 10th year of business and wonder why it feels so hard to you in your first, your second, your third year. Or maybe you've been in business for more than 10 years but you made the mistake of redoing your first year in business over and over again and so you never grew. And now the business is contracting and you feel like the biggest idiot on the planet for not actively growing your business deliberately when things seemed easier. Whatever stage you're in, you can convince yourself that no one could ever have gone through what you're going through. But surely you know that one of the greatest reasons you resonate with me is because you sense that I get it. I get you. And I do. Okay. I've walked that path and I still walk the path. I've made horrible mistakes, got myself into incredible amounts of debt, even after getting myself into incredible amounts of debt. (laughs) And yet I kept walking. I'll probably walk the narrow path until I die. Yes, money gets easier, but the desire to grow, to expand means that there will be days when I go through what seems to be the darkness as I expand to the next level. And as we know, the darkness feels very real at times. Well, (laughs) that was me rambling for about (laughs) a while there. And ultimately, I feel I should give you a lesson or two. Number one, just never stop. Number two, you're not alone. Number three, the money situation gets easier if... Number four, you do the work of bringing new leads in every day. Number five, you communicate daily with your audience in some way. Number six, you stop buying into the lies that everything is always super easy. And number seven, you're here for a reason. Number eight, you're becoming stronger as you go through the darkness. Number nine, don't run from pain of expansion. Number 10, communicate even when it feels pointless. Number 11, be yourself vehemently. Leader, fight for and deliberately design the life you're born to live because you want to. And just before I go, do you feel a little broken at the moment? Do you want to take some time out to reconnect with source, your purpose and the work you want to do on the planet? Then private message me about the Deliberate Millionaire Retreat and I will send information over to you. Number one thing that you will discover is, yeah, it'd be, or what you get is three days away from the hustle and bustle of life. Um, time to get clear about what you want your life to be about, where you may have gone, of course, relieve the stress and strain of everyday living and take some time for clarity of direction, map out your entire business so that you can see what needs to be done next, make a next step, simple marketing plan to get you making money at any new ideas within the next 90 days from the retreat, get back in touch with spirit, source or intuition and tap into incredible wisdom, being the leader you're born to be. 
All of your food and accommodation is paid for. All you need to do is turn up, ready to be healed, set free to impact, influence, and increase your income. Remove any money blocks stopping from creating, stopping you from creating wealth in abundance. Start loving life again instead of that kind of quiet desperation feeling that seems to drag you around or follow you around. Okay, understand how online business works so that you start making it work for you immediately. Get pampered and looked after for the first, for the time that you're away. Lay down your need to care for everyone and just tap back into your you and your needs. That's what we'll be doing on these three days together. So private message me to find out more. Until the next time, bye.